So one of the cool surprises about this year is when I met with the folks from Penzoil and AutoNation in a conference room in Florida, they disclosed to me that they wanted a way to highlight not only their very accessorized trucks and SUV market, but also their Highline units that they have on their other dealerships. The Auto Gear F-150 build that we did last year for SEMA was a huge undertaking because we built that truck in about 42 days. So we knew we wanted to use this truck to break out the whole Auto Gear message. And we wanted to use parts and pieces from every brand that they carry. You know, we're talking about the bull bars, we're talking about the running boards, the, the roof rack, the wheels and tires, the lighting, the sound system. I mean, you name it, we put everything we could on that truck. So it was important that we made it really a conversation piece that somebody could come up and talk about from an art standpoint. So we came with this idea about doing Sharpie art. I'd seen it on an 04 Lamborghini and I thought, how cool is that? But nobody had ever done an F-150. And we wanted to tie in all the brand messaging that AutoNation and AutoGear has from Drive Pink to Open Road. Every side of that truck is different. So it's not like you can see one side and it's just rinse and repeat and you look at the other side and it's exactly the same. No panel is the same on this truck. But on top of it, even after we did all the art that was on the vehicle and we laid it out and Jada did a great job of executing on that, we then turned around and clear coat wrapped the entire vehicle to kind of preserve the art. Because not only was this truck gonna debut at SEMA, but then that was just where its adventure was gonna start. It's gonna then go to the Cure Bowl and other different events that AutoNation puts on throughout the year, all for the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. So they came to me with this idea of how can we accessorize a Highline Mercedes, Audi, Porsche in a way that they can use it within the auto gear umbrella. And one way is to show all the mods that people are doing to all these Highline vehicles. And they had the platform in mind of the Mercedes C300. And I was like, yes, it had to be a coupe. It had to go wide. It had to represent that ultimate epic car that you see at Cars and Coffee and you're like, hey, where did you get that? I want that. And my whole vision is to create that car for Auto Gear so that somebody says, where did you get that car, man? I bought it at AutoNation. No, 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 I know, but where did you get it accessorized? At AutoNation. And that is in my wheelhouse. This is exactly what I want to do. It was very important to me that we started with a base model 300 in the C-Class because I wanted to show dramatic difference between what you could buy at a dealership bone stock from what you could get with an auto gear accessory package. I'm labeling this car the AG300. Jeff brought in this Mercedes C300 from Auto Gear for us to build this year and uh, he's got some crazy ideas with it. Let's wide body that bad boy, let's lower it, trick wheels, cool interior sound system, bam! I could already see it. All the parts are starting to come in for the Mercedes C300. We're gonna have WeatherTech inside, outside, upside down. Everywhere you're gonna see WeatherTech. And of course we got tire rack for the wheels and tires. Alpine, Rockford Fosgate. We're gonna put lights on it. We're gonna have floor mats in it. We're gonna have a sound system that's just gonna be cranking. We're gonna start with the prior design wide body. We're gonna add an exhaust system. Michelin tires. And we've got a dash cam. And we've even got a dash mat. This car is gonna be a one-off, not gonna wanna miss it, SEMA explosion. So we knew the first thing we needed to do with this Mercedes C300 when it arrived was get some Penzoil synthetics under the hood. So it's the first thing we did was an oil change. It's very interesting taking apart a brand new Mercedes, but this is where we're going right now. I've got the uh, fenders I've started pulling off so I could test fit the new fenders that come with the wide body kit and they look fantastic and fit really well, which I'm happy with. It's always, it's always nice when everything just bolts together like it's supposed to. Uh, I've got the bumper kind of fitted together so I can kind of get a look at what, it, what this is going to look like at the end and it's looking crazy. It's, I mean, it, it looks fantastic, but it doesn't look like a Mercedes anymore, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank you.
And then moving around to the back of the car, we've got the new bumper and flares, which are looking like very massive. Jeff went crazy, of course, as usual, getting as wide as he can possibly get it. So I don't know how much rubber he's putting under there, but I know it's a lot. These flares stick out way wide. This thing's gonna look mean, it's gonna look aggressive. Uh, I can't wait to see it on the road. Along with the front bumper and rear bumper and the fenders, we're adding uh, side skirts and a, a nice aggressive spoiler. So this thing, when you see it on the street, it's gonna blow you away. You won't, you won't recognize this thing. I think when you look at both builds that we're doing, you're gonna see the yin and yang of everything there at SEMA. You're gonna have this off the wall, four-wheel drive Toyota 4Runner that's gonna be an attention grabber like you've never seen before. And then you're gonna see one of the sickest, sleekest looking C300s that is gonna blow everybody away at Cars and Coffee. And I'm so excited to be involved in both these epic builds. But I gotta tell you, every time I walk by that Mercedes, it gets cooler and cooler every time. It's gonna be hard to probably give that car up, I'm gonna tell you right now.